All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I just uh, made my coffee ready, so I wish I can share it with you, and we have our coffee together. Our topic today is about the heaven of Allah. You know, the heaven of Allah is uh, full of women waiting for us men, not for you women, sorry. Uh, you know, I mean, there is nothing for you there. It will be, uh, the women uh, there, they will be just uh, a gift for the men. The, the whole paradise is made for the men. The Muslim, they will say, no, the Quran says that those who do good deeds, etc., from both of them, they will be in heaven. Yeah, my friend, but the woman in heaven, she will be doing what exactly? She will be herself jailed in a tent for the man. She is a promise for the man. There is no promise for her. But today's topic is not about this. It's about those women in heaven and actually even the men in heaven, all of them, they will be extremely white, which means no Muslim man will be in heaven. He is black, African, or Asian. No Muslim woman in heaven, she will be African or Asian. And even those women who Allah, he made for us in heaven, they will be totally, uh, extremely white. So the question is, why? Any Muslim have an idea? Why? Why do women have to be extremely white? And why you as a Muslim, Allah will make you white? If you are black, in case you are black. And why Allah will make the black, the, 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 the Christian, the Jews, the Hindus, the atheists, Allah will make them black. Any Muslim knows? <clears throat> What's wrong if the woman she is Asian and she stay Asian? What is the problem if a woman she is African and she stay African? Do Allah suffer from seeing such a face? Any Muslim? What is the problem exactly? Obviously, Allah, the God of Muhammad, Aka Muhammad, he have a problem with Asian people, and actually he insulted them in many places in the Hadith. He described their faces as the head hit by a hammer, hit by a hammer, why, why you see them in such a way? African people, they are, you know, actually, beauty have nothing to do with color. There is women, they are African, they can beat any, any blonde women easy with beauty. Same for Asian. What color have to do with the beauty? Secondly, if Allah is the one who made them Asian, what is the problem? Any Muslim? No answer. It's a very shameful cult. It's a very shameful, racist, white supremacist Islam. Allah is a white supremacist. Muhammad is a white supremacist because Muhammad and Allah is one person. Now, who is a Muslim when I say to me, this is not true? Anyone? <clears throat> yeah, exactly. You know, black, black or Asian or white. Beauty have nothing to do with color. Uh, with, uh, even for men or women, you know, there is men, they are very handsome, and they are, you know, they, they are black. And there is men, they are white, and they are handsome. Uh, and there is men like me, 
So they are white, but they are not good looking. What I can do? <laughs> so, so what is this is about? What is this is about? The prophet said, the first patch of people, and hold on, here there's first patch and second patch and third patch, hmm? which means there's ranks, hmm? first class, second class. Hmm? The same is in the, like, you know, if you go to see uh, in the White House, like first they, they put the ministers and the senators, and then they put the Congress, and then they put the normal people, right? Uh, so in the heaven of Allah, there is first patch, and first patch, they enter paradise and they are not only white, they are shiny white. They are the glittering according to the translation of the Muhammadan. It doesn't say that, CPM. Hmm. No, we will show and we will prove it. will enter paradise with glit glittering like full moon and patch and the patch next to them will be glittering like a most brilliant star i mean look i was stupid supposedly supposedly the one the first patch is better than the second patch but isn't it the star is more shiny than the moon you know what i'm saying allah saying the good muslim the first patch will be glittering like a moon. The second batch, which is not good as the first batch, they will be glittering like a star. As I know, the star is way more shiny and the moon is not really shiny, the moon is reflecting light. So obviously this is a scientific error, brother. Secondly, why the first batch is glittering like the moon and the second batch is glittering like the star? What happened exactly? Why there is batches in the in the heaven of Islam? Even in even in heaven, there is first rank, second rank. There is discrimination. Yeah, exactly. The sun is a star. So if the star, the, the idiot who was making this hadith, Muhammad, he do not know that the sun itself is a star. So he's comparing between the best, he's saying the best, the first rank is a glittering like the moon. Supposedly that's made them really, really, really lighted, you know. It's a metaphor, CP. Uh, no, because we can see clearly if it's a metaphor. Let us read together. It says here, Their heart will be as if the heart of a single man. For they will be, they will have neither enmity nor jealousy. No jealousy. No jealousy. What does that mean? <clears throat> Among themselves, everyone will have two wives of the Huris. And they will be so beautiful, pure, transparent that the marrow of their bones, of, uh, uh, of their legs, will be seen through the bones and the flesh. Is that a metaphorical now? Is that a metaphorical? Seen through the bones? Any Muhammadan? Is it true that those women we will see through their bones? Now we we made many videos before about the same topic, you know, but today I'm trying to get an answer from the Muslims and remind people at the same time that Islam is nothing but a white supremacist cult. Because they try to present themselves that they are uh, Islam is a religion for the Asian. Islam is religion for the African. Islam is religion for everybody. That's not true.
This is absolutely false. Islam is not even religion for all white people. Islam is religion for the white Arab. Because if you are a white person and you are not an Arab, they will discriminate you still. When you pray to Allah as an Indonesian, can you pray to Allah in your language? No. Why? What is the problem with this God? Why it is not right for you to pray in your language? It's actually, it's not logical to pray in any language except yours. And then we will see the exaggeration with the lies, claiming that this God Allah, he will give us women who they look like, very weird creatures. They are, this is not a beautiful no more. This is what Allah is promising us. Look how sexy, brother. <clears throat> how a beauty can be like this? Muhammad, when he made this uh, such a you know such a statement, uh, because he's a racist. He never imagined really how it was going to be. He just make it. Just made it and throw it there. But this is exactly what the hadith is saying. <clears throat> they are transparent. And they are describing them are very beautiful. To the point they are transparent. You can see through the mirror. So the beauty according to Allah is a woman we can so this god is seducing us by such a you know muslims what about the muslims who was on earth what if somebody her name is amina she is from indonesia and she will go to heaven right uh, is, go, is going to be uh, is, is going to stay indonesian no let us go to the quran <laughs> Chapter 3, verse 106, chapter 3, verse 107, both of them speak about white faces and black faces. Do you see it? Those white faces, Allah will make them white, and those black faces, Allah will make them black. Do you see it? In the day of resurrection, before you go to heaven, Allah will transform all transform all human beings to two colors. There's no three colors. There's no Asian. In Allah, he never heard of Asian. They will be either white or black. That's it. So in the day of resurrection, when some faces will become white and some faces will become black. But you know. Somebody will make a video and say, No, CP, this is metaphorical, CP. Uh, okay, we can go to the interpretation and we will see that this is absolutely false. If we go to different verse in the Quran, <clears throat> Chapter Let us see here. In chapter 27, verse number 82. You see, because when you study uh, such a cult, you have to connect the dots. It's not just a one verse. You go there and, you know, it's a, there's a story. And the Quran is the same as a book was in the front of a, uh, in a table. And somebody turned on the fan. And then the papers became everywhere. 
and then we collect them as they are and we find them which means they are not in order and we put them together so the stories in the quran are not in order because it's written distribute by a fool so this is about judgment day too but the story is different verses different places you know and there is no connection if you think about it but if you go into details you will find that there is a connection according to this verse there is a beast will come from the ground you know like in the movie and this beast is going to have the staff of Moses and the ring of Solomon and this beast will chase us one by one which means none of us can escape him and he will hit you in your in your nose by a stick of Moses or by the ring of Suleiman and depend who you are if you are a believer in Allah Allah will make you white when he hit you in your face there is a spot it will be dark black or white spot that white spot will spread and cover you all of you same for the dark spot if he hit you with the dark spot tool then you will be a black person now how we can prove this no cp it doesn't say that cp where in the verse it says that cp <laughs> i'm sure they hate it when they said that to me uh, well we can show you i mean the muslims they are very elective and selective so if we show them what is written in their books they will deny it it's in the screen it doesn't say that cp it's in front of you it doesn't say that cp read it man it didn't you don't know arabic you don't know english this is the interpretation of ibn kathir and this is a website run by the muhammadan And Muhammad here is talking about the judgment day, signs of the judgment day. And here it says, تَخْرُجُ دَابَةٌ دَابَةُ الْأَرْضُ وَمَعَهَا عَصَى مُوسَى وَخَاتَمُ سُلَيْمَانِ عَلَيْهُمَا السَّلَامِ Translation, a beast will emerge from the earth and it would, with it will be the staff of Musa and the ring of Sulaiman. It will strike the nose of the believer with the staff and will make the face of the believer bright with the ring. See, he see CP, it says a bright CP, it doesn't say white CP. Hello, <laughs> bright because he is a, a believer. See, it doesn't say Christian Prince is lying. It doesn't say white CP. Hold on, if we go down a little bit, you will see exactly what we are saying. All right, here he continues, says. They will be, it will bring with it the staff of Musa and the ring of Suleiman. There will be no believer left without making a white spot on his face. Do you see white spot? White spot on his face, which will spread until all his face is shining white as a result. Do you see it? Hmm? exactly as I told you the, the, the beast will hit you in your nose if you are a believer in Allah and his cult and you kiss black stone mm -hmm. Hmm? put your head inside this black stone vagina and kiss it and lick it Allah will make your face a face of a white person and the white spot is just a spot and then they will spread which means all your body will be white same will be done for those who they are believe, disbelievers read and there will be no disbeliever left without making a black spot on his face which will spread until his face black as a result so the news is if you are indonesian african wherever you are allah will make you if you are a disbeliever will make you white if you are a disbeliever, Allah will make you black. Finally, my dream come true. All my life, I wanted to be black. 
I mean, look at this. Life is not fair. A black man, easy, he can find a woman. For me, I am as a white man, it's hard. But white women, they like black men. Finally, I will be a black man. Thank you, Allah. Thank you. Thank you. I cannot wait, Allah, until you make me black. What's wrong with being black? Here you notice the supremacy of this cult. That this is a reward. This is not about you being a black and white only. This is about a reward. Reward and penalty. So those who they are white are the believers. So this is a reward. And those who they are black, it's a punishment. What's wrong with being black and going to heaven and you are black? What's wrong with being Asian and going to heaven and you are Asian? What's wrong with, what's wrong with Asian people? Hmm? What this is transformation is about? Any Muslim can tell us? What the purpose? You see, everything have a purpose, right? Why all the believers will be white? And all the disbelievers will be black. The story continues, says, Then when people trade in the other market, this is before they go to heaven, this is before the, this is the final day, uh, they will say how much this, and then the, the buyer and the seller, they will talk, they say, Oh, believer, because now you are white, because he knew that you know, he know you from your color. Oh, believer, oh, disbeliever. So I go to Walmart and the cashier, she will say to me, oh, this believer, which means that she is making fun of you. You are not white. She is making fun of you. This is an insult. You are, an, you are, an, you are a, a obviously a bad person. Why? Because why you are a bad person? Allah, he made you what? He changed your color from, according to Muhammad, from white to black. And the one who was black, Allah reward him and he made him white. So I have a news for Indonesian Muslims. A brother and sister. No, this doesn't work this way. Because Zakir Naik is uh, uh, he's there, close to them. A brother and sister. First of all, all the women here are Indonesian. Everyone with him. Sister took Stop looking at your mother. Turn off your selfie. There is no need to look at your mirror because Allah will make you too beautiful. Mm -hmm. An Asian woman, she will raise his hand, her hand, and she will say to him, "How Allah will make me uh, uh, so beautiful?" You know, Allah have an answer for sure. You know, he will say, uh, <clears throat> Okay, it is tell her how she will be so beautiful. Our third ear with the hilab, she's asking with him, How will that go to make her so beautiful? And the answer is very simple. Allah is all powerful and He is all lovely. He will send you a beast. And this beast has a very, very, very strange look. And He's going to have the staff of Musad. And you know the staff of Musad is full of magic, like Hori Buddha. And it's going to hit you in your face. And then after He hit you in your face, you will have a white spot. That way, sister. Count with me. One, two, Three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bingo! You are white, sister. You are absolutely white. From now on, there is no need to use whitening. I know, I know you are using whitening. So Allah will make the Asian women white? Hmm? I mean, that's fantastic. Thank you, Allah. Finally. Is Allah fixing the problem now, supposedly? Is that the problem to be Asian? 
Do Allah see you as an Asian like something missing Muslims? So he is fixing it? Do Allah see you as a black? That there is something wrong so he fix it? If not, well you need to tell us what is the problem? What is the problem with this woman? Hmm? Any Muhammadan here have an excuse? And you see, this is not metaphorical as they try to say to us because all of them, they will say, oh, Islam is for everybody, brother. And they will quote for you Bilal, the, the poor Bilal, he died and he did not get his freedom. Bilal, he was used and abused by Muhammad. However, Bilal, if he go to heaven, Allah will make him white, as you see, before he go to heaven. He is not allowed to enter heaven as a black person. <clears throat> Any Muhammadan? Actually, obviously, the God of Islam, he have no idea what his beauty is about. Asian people, they have their own beauty. White people, they have their own beauty. And black people, they have their own beauty. Which means, every ethnic they have different feature of a beauty, but all of them they are beautiful. Every ethnic, Latino, they have their own beauty. I mean, every, 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 uh, I mean, this is stupid. This is really crazy. Go and see how many white men in USA they are marrying black women. Go and see how many white men they are marrying white uh, uh, Asian women. Because you know, if because if we. If we see that uh, black women are not beautiful, so why we marry them? By the way, you will not see an Arab man in the Middle East marrying a black woman. Never. I never saw one. I never saw a single uh, 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 Arab man marrying a black woman. Right? First of all, all, all of us, we are children of God. And all of us being given our beauty from God. So it's an insult to think that somebody, he have different ethnic, he is not good looking. Because simply, uh, you know, he is, he is a child of God as you are. The same maker. As if you are saying to the maker, you do not know how to make your making. Hmm? Color supremacist is a stupid belief. Actually, there's a hadith if somebody can post it for us about Muhammad saying he created black and he decided Allah, uh, Allah he created black and he decided to send them to hell. He created it white and he decided to send them to heaven. You know the hadith, right? We mentioned it many times. You remember the hadith? If you remember it, post it in the text, in the chat, maybe the admin can grab it. And let everybody see how racist this cult is. A cult which separates us between the black and white and Asian, and supposedly the white ones are the good ones, and they are the only one who will go to heaven. Not only that, not only the staff will work on you and will make you white, there is a drink you will drink before you enter heaven, and that will make you white shiny. Before you go to heaven, there is two angels are waiting for you in the door. One of them is holding water, which will make you young, 
uh, if you uh, for the man uh, 33 years old look like prophet joseph and you are extremely white and the other uh, uh, water will make you lose all your jealousy and all your uh, like uh, garbage stuff in from earth which means like it causes you diarrhea Any Muslim? <coughs> Look like nobody posted the hadith about Adam children. Okay, let's see. I will look for it. All right, here we go. We have our brother Phil. He did uh, show the hadith. This is the hadith, as you see. Thank you, Phil, for posting it. This is the hadith, as you see. Let us zoom in. And this is an Islamic website, <coughs> Al Ilm. Al-ilm which means knowledge. Look at this knowledge. This is supposedly knowledge. Let us see what the knowledge of Allah is saying. Allah Messenger <coughs> said, Allah created Adam when he created him <coughs> and he struck his right shoulder and there emitted from it white of spring. Muhammad claiming that white people they came from the right shoulder of Adam look like at that time Adam was not using his private part for sex he was using his arm making make sense specifically when Adam he had made love to Eve our grandmother he did not make love to her using his penis he was using his shoulder so just think about it. Just imagine the view. Hmm? <clears throat> Eve and Adam having sex. Adam is using his shoulder. Uh huh. Okay. That explains uh, the global warming and uh, the evolution theory. It looked like one day penis was in the shoulder, but by time it became down there. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. So Allah, he struck Adam in his right shoulder and from there emitted the white of spring as if they were white ants. And then he struck his left shoulder. Looked like at that time, Adam, he used to have two penises, one in the right shoulder and one in the left shoulder. And there emitted from, the black, from it the black of spring as if they were shirkur. Then he said to those who had been emitted from the right shoulder for paradise and I don't mind and those who they are emitted from the left shoulder are for hell and I don't mind. Do you see it? No, CB, it doesn't say that, CB. Oh, I, now I know why my shoulder uh, hurted me before, because I think because of this issue. I think Eve, she came to me and she said, let us make babies. And she said to me, let us make them from the, uh, from the right uh, 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 shoulders, which means she, she is racist, she wants them white. I said, no, I want to make them black. I want to have them black from the left shoulder. So she hit me in the left and the right shoulder, and the, uh, it's hurting me. The admin is posting the link for you, my friend. This is your Islamic website. This is at Tirmidhi, Hadith number thirty-eight. This is your Islamic website, Hadith at Tirmidhi, number thirty-eight. And the admin, he posted for you the website already. And I will post it for you again. So you can open it in your own and save it in your own.
There we go. Do you see it? Do we need more evidence that this is a very filthy cult? For sure, they will make this hadith is, uh, is, uh, is weak, uh, rejected, I mean, all the garbage. You name it. Anything is embarrassing, they will say it's rejected. My, my shoulder is hurting because I told you, you know, because uh, Allah, he hit me in my right shoulder, you know, because I refused to have sex with uh, Eve using my left shoulder. I wanted, uh, I wanted to have a black children's. So I decided to use my left shoulder. Allah, he got upset. He said, no, you use only your right shoulder when you do boom, boom with Eve. And then he hit me in my right shoulder <clears throat> as a punishment for I, reject, I refused. Yeah, actually, it's still hurting because I thought I am recovered. So I start doing some very tough physical activities. It should, I should wait more. But I thought it's gone. But then looked like it came back. Ugh, mean, I hate it. I, I, I cannot uh, stay like a, as a, 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 what they call it, coach potato. So it looked like I need to be a coach potato for a few days. No, no. Anyway, rejected reference, exactly. I mean, Asmir, Amir, see guys, rejected reference. Anything is embarrassing, rejected reference. Even Al-Bukhari, rejected, even the Quran, rejected reference. The Quran, my friend, says Allah will make you white and black. Uh, daif, Daif, Daif. The Quran is Daif, brother. What kind of physical activities? Very, very tough physical activities, actually. Very tough. <sighs> Don't abuse your uh, your ability. You know, ab abuse your body. It hurt. Um, we are not machines, obviously. So, as you see, my friend. How this is can be from God? You tell me. For me, I don't mind to marry a black woman, an Asian woman, a white woman. It doesn't matter. Women at the end of the day are women. All of them, they will give you a headache. All of them, they have. They will bring you a mother-in-law. She will make you go crazy. All of them, they will uh, ask you to buy them stuff, brother. All of them doesn't matter. Black, white, yellow. I mean, I mean, uh, red, uh, blue. Uh, orange, it doesn't matter what the color of the women. All of them, they would drive you crazy. We have to be honest, brother. We have to be honest, brother. Hmm? You marry a blue woman. Oh, mommy. Oh, mommy, mommy, blue. Oh, mommy, blue. She drive me crazy. Oh, mommy. Oh, mommy, mommy, blue, my wallet blue. Oh, mommy, mommy, what your wallet blue? Your wallet will be uh, uh, transparent, not only blue. Huh? What does this have to do? I mean, this is the most stupid, stupid cult ever. Not even purple? <laughs> well, these days everything is possible. You go in the street, you see the hair of women. I mean, I don't know. There's no color left. You see purple, you see green, you see blue. I don't know what's wrong with women these days. And there is eyelashes. There's magnetic eyelashes. Mean. What if you are made of steel? They will stick on you. Magnetic eyelashes? We need to ask Allah if Allah will provide us. Oh Allah, what difference between the believers and disbelievers? Uh, uh, Amir, I don't know, your question is very funny. The difference between believers and disbelievers, they are, the first are the believers, the second are disbelievers. <laughs> you know, Amir is asking a question and he's a Muslim. He's a cute. What the difference between disbelievers and believers? It's obvious that disbelievers are disbelievers.
No women, no cry? Not necessarily. You cry anyway. You cry with them, you cry without them. You made me laugh so much. Why are you are laughing? It's, a, it's haram. It's haram. You are laughing at the Quran. Allah will punish you. Allahu yakhsha min ibadihi ulama. What is the correct translation? Well, the Muslim, they say this is meant. This, this is not about correct translation because supposedly what is meant. You see, the correct translation is the meaning, not just the word. So if you take it literally, that Allah, he is afraid of those who they are knowledgeable. The Muslim, they say, no, the Arabic appearance like this, but the meaning is that those who are knowledgeable, they fear Allah, which means the opposite direction of the verse. Do we have any Muhammadan? Want to say anything? <clears throat> Actually, you know, I you know, I, I I met all kind of people, and I notice that there is no difference between uh, ethnic. We as a human, we are the same. Emotion. All of us, we cry. All of us, we get happy. All of us, uh, uh, you know, we suffer from the same and we enjoy the same. It's very stupid to believe that there's God. He will make you white because you are a believer. In the heaven of the Lord, the Messiah, all of us, we are going to be there. African, Asian, white. And nobody will even know or even think about uh, what color you are. You see, always you notice the color. I mean, you notice it as a description, it's fine. But you notice it as a discrimination, that's mean you are sick. You know what I mean? Like if you ask me, did you see a guy come in here? I say, okay, what describe him for me? So you say he's uh, black or so that's fine. You're trying to give, give description. The same as you describe how high he is or it's etc. But if you see people with their color just for the sake of discrimination, obviously you have mental issue. You have a phobia. There is bad and there is good people everywhere. There is bad white, good white, bad black, good black, same as for Asian. Black, white, Asian, all they have the same issues. There's wonderful people between them, and there is bad people between them. There's wonderful women, Asian, black, and white, and there is the opposite between white and black, and that's same. Actually, I believe that if you marry from other ethnic it is nicer and it's a bring a kind of contra contrast to your your life i, I don't know if it, my, my english is good to describe it how to how to say it because you see uh, <clears throat> the most important thing for a man and a woman to share together is believing in the same belief which means they have the same value the same god the same belief the rest is culture, and if the culture uh, of both is under the command of the Lord, their culture will be beautiful, which means anything reject or rejected in Christianity will reject both of us, in my culture and your culture. You know what I mean? Like me as a Middle Eastern, as an Arab, we have a lot of ugly culture, a lot. I cannot even count it. But me as a Christian, I reject any culture is against Christianity. I don't adopt just because I'm an Arab and I carry with like a camel. So two good culture because we are filtering the bad things out <clears throat> will make a better family. <clears throat> will make a better family. So uh, uh, Asmir Nazir, whatever your name, you wanna call me my friend? 
Do you like to call me? <coughs> if you like to call me, I will open Skype for you. <coughs> Why does Yahweh hate black people? Black skin is cursed. That's a lie, my friend. You see, this is your lie. Actually, here we go. You see, uh, Jundallah, the, the army of Allah, is saying the following. He's saying, why Yahweh? Hold on, let me, let me get his text. Why Yahweh? He hate the black people, black skin, and he curse. That's because you are stupid, you don't understand. The Bible is prophesying about those the children of this man, what will happen to them? It's not about the black people. Whoever children of that man, this is a prophecy about the future. However, as long as you are talking about a curse, here we go, it's in the front of you. This is in your religion. Actually, if you have my book, you will see that Allah, the same story about those who they saw their father drunk, Allah, he cursed them and he made them black. However, Muhammad, he gave us more powerful story. This is the curse of Allah. Before he created the black, he decided they will go to hell. Do you see it? So you are a liar and this is not a true. Allah created black people and he said, you go to hell and I don't care. Wala ubali. Here we go. The white people he created from the right, uh, from the right shoulder, and he said to them, "Those who they are be emitted from the right shoulder for paradise, and I don't care. And for those who they are emitted from the left shoulder, go to hell, and I don't mind." That is in your cult. <clears throat> the verse you are talking about the Bible is about prophecy about the children of that man, <clears throat> not about the black people. Prophecy. The same they prophesy about the children of Ishmael, that they will be warrior, and they will kill and they will be killed. This is a prophecy. This is not about God making them this way. This is a prophecy. <clears throat> the God even he prophesy about the children of Israel. Israel. He decided to marry a woman from the best, the best of the best. Because he, he learned there is a prophecy that the children of Israel, they will commit adultery. And he will marry a woman of adultery. So he said to himself, no way. I'm not going to marry a woman of adultery. You know, uh, Husha, sorry, the, uh, uh, about Husha. So, uh, uh, <clears throat> he he is going to marry a woman, a woman of adultery. So he decided to change the prophecy. That will not happen to me. I'm not going to marry a woman of adultery. So he decided to marry uh, uh, a woman from the best. The best woman, the most qualified, quality woman, you know. And then he ended that the prophecy, as God, he said, it happened. But he did not understand really the prophecy. The prophecy is speaking about the earth, the earth committed adultery. The whole earth is committing adultery. And your children, they are part of this earth. <clears throat> hmm? So when a Muslim, he tried to explain our book, we laugh. They cannot explain their book, and yet they can explain our book. Any Muhammadan? Any Muhammadan have something to say? Uh, 
جند الله يو نو اف يو ريبيت ذا سيم ثينج اي مين اي كان بلوك يو بيكوز اي انسرد يو اوريدي اباوت ذا كويشن اوريدي ذير از نو وير ان ذا بايبل سيز ذات جاد هي يو نو هي هيت ذا بلاك بيبل يو ار ا لاير سكندلي اي كان شو يو اند وي ار شوين يو ان فرونت اوف يو ان سكرين اند يو ار اغنورين ذات The most person Allah he hate is a black man. Is that correct? Let me show you. Let me let us show, show the reference. Hold on. The most person Allah he hate is a black man. Who said that? Is that a Christian prince? Absolutely not. Where are you, Jundallah? Are you there? Here we go. In a second, he will repeat the same thing he was saying for the last two hours. But they are potatoes. They don't dare to answer. Here we go. Did your God, Allah, says that the most person Allah he hate in the whole earth is a black person? The most hateful among the creation of Allah is a black man. Does it say that? Where are you, Junt? Are you there? Why the most person Allah he hate is a black man? He never said that? It's in front of you. Junt, he's saying, no, never said that. It's in front of you. No, ZP. He didn't say that, ZP. Yeah, read it. I mean, the, the first thing the Mohammedan they do is go on in denial. Obviously, Islam is a faithy cult. White women, white supremacists, Allah will make everybody white. The black people are made to go to hell. This is the summary of Islam. And here we go. This guy is saying it doesn't say that, CP. But the hadith in the front of us says it says that. Are you blind? The most hateful among the creation of Allah is the one black man of them, among them. There's a lot of people. The one who is black, Allah, he hates him most from all the creation. Is that a weak hadith? No, this is Sahih Muslim. Sahih Muslim. What Sahih Muslim mean? It means Sahih. Here we go. This is the reference. Okay, uh, Jundi is saying, just to show you how Muslim they try to answer. He's saying he is not hated because he's a black man. He is hated because he's a bad person. Okay, why your God Allah did not say the, the bad person between them? <laughs> why he could not find any way to identify the person except by saying a black? Now, anyone is black between them is a suspect of the crime. He is black. Allah, he hate him, according to the verse. So, your, your argument is weak like the weak Allah. Because I can say that the most person God he hate is the liar. Okay. Not the black. Here you did not say... anything except he is a black that's it I feel sorry for the Muslim they try to uh, to defend but the more they defend they find themselves is, is in a quicksand you know they dig themselves inside the sand hmm Who is the one who will destroy the Kaaba? A black man. 
<laughs> Who is Shaitan? A black man. You know, I remember once uh, a Muslim in Facebook, he responded to my uh, uh, to my post. If you remember, the, the Muhammad he claimed that Jibreel, uh, Shaitan, he changed his look from a black and he came to him as a white angel. His name is Al Abyad, which means the white. And he deceived him and he gave him satanic verses. So the Muslim here, he want to get me busted. So he answered back, he says, uh, I, Well, I never saw an angel is black. <laughs> so I answered him, I said, Idiot, did you even see an angel one day? And imagine, guys, uh, Facebook, they consider my statement racist. I am the one who is defending the black people. He is the one saying that the black people are Satan and Facebook, they give me a warning and he took, they took my post. Do you believe it? I am the one saying this is racist. This is ugly. This is disgusting. Facebook, they did not take his post. They took my post and they gave me a warning and they says, do you agree? I said, no, I don't agree. He is the one saying that the uh, angel cannot be white, it cannot be black. <clears throat> truth seeker, isn't it? This is Abbas. Isn't it? Truth seeker is Abbas. This is Abbas. I mean, why you want to do this to him? This guy, he have enough spanking for the coming 10th century. Okay. I have Amir texting me. All right. So Amir is asking me for a hadith, just I'm looking for it. Give me a second. All right. Well, you got him the hadith. Oh boy.
So do we have any Muslim when it's any any uh any smart Muslim wanna say anything? Masonic Sikh Johnny for the first time. God bless you, CP. You're really teaching lives around the world. Thank you, my friend. Okay. You see, uh, this is what I like actually about the internet. Like now, I'm sitting in my uh, private room. Yet I have people around the earth are listening and learning. Like now, we have uh, uh, this brother. He's a Sikh, and uh, a Sikh. I, I believe from his name, he became a Christian. Uh, which means he is either he is uh, he's a, you know he live in, in India or in Pakistan. I'm not sure. Uh, but do you see how amazing the internet? We have an opportunity which uh, our our church fathers before they don't have. They used to have to go from city to city, walking in their feet, getting killed, crucified, lose their heads, just to say one statement about Jesus. Do you see how easy it is for us today to, to, to reach out to the world and teach them about Christ? And yet we claim that we are sacrificing. Yes, we are sacrificing some time. I mean, but we cannot compare it to the sacrifice of to our church fathers, right? I mean, literally, they've been fed it to animals as if they are food. For us, I'm getting Muhammad and his religion and his devil busted. I'm sitting behind my table drinking my coffee. What a luxury. Thank you, Lord. So who is a Muslim have anything to say? Around the globe, they listen to CP farting. This is what truth seeker is saying. Okay, truth seeker, I want to ask you. As long as they are listening to my farting, are you here for the same reason? And this is why we say that Allah could not have believers who have a high IQ. Correct, guys? Because if CP is farting and people around the globe are listening to his farting, and yet you are between those who they are listening to my farting, obviously you are a fart human. Generally speaking, you are nothing but gas coming from me, not from Allah. This is how you insult yourself. And as long as you are talking about farting, who can beat farting, I mean, knowledge as the prophet of Allah? He make lecture, lecture about farting. Look at this. When shaitan hear the call of the prayer, he turn his back and he break wind. <laughs> this is farting. Literally. Imagine we have a billion and a half of human beings listening to a lecturer from a prophet. His name is Mumu. And the today topic is about anus and farting. Literally. Is that true? Or I'm making things up. The farting specialist prophet. The prophet, peace upon him. Brother and sister, <clears throat> the prophet, he is very specialized. And he knows about everything. And his best specialty is about farting. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. Hmm? Luxury behind the screen? Yeah, luxury behind the screen. What's your problem? We can answer. Answer, answer. What kind of a prophet he teaches us a chichi? Coward. Yeah, and you are sitting behind the screen, you idiot, aren't you? Are you in the front of the screen or behind the screen? Or under the screen? <clears throat> the, the, the low IQ, you know, go and, you know, look, hold on. Even the IQ in Islam is coming in dishes. Have you ever heard of a prophet? <coughs> Allah, he, his God, he made for him a plastic surgery. And he brought him knowledge and wisdom <coughs> in dishes. Read with me, Allah. <coughs> How in the world can this is can be? <coughs> what happened to my voice? <coughs> because I drank too much coffee. 
<clears throat> I need to eat something, I think. All right. Look at this. The prophet, man, my voice is gone. <clears throat> the prophet, brother, the angel, he brought him a dish, and this dish <clears throat> contained, <clears throat> contained dish of wisdom and dish of faith. Do you see it? This is how low IQ your religion is. Uh, uh, Azmir, uh, look guys, look what Azmir he says. Amir, just to show you how, how why Islam is a, is, a, is a stupid cult. I, I will go back to you, Amir. Hold on, let me finish this uh, uh, material. So the angel brother, he cut uh, the, the throat of Allah Prophet all the way in his abundum and he take off his testicles. It doesn't say that, CP. And he wash it with the water of Zamzam. It doesn't say that, CP. And he he then he brought, and then a golden tray containing a golden bowl full of belief and wisdom was brought. And then Jibreel is stuffed in his chest and his throat, blood vessel with it. Do you see it? Even your prophet is so stupid to the point he need a plastic surgery of wisdom. And this is your prophet after the surgery is telling us the story, which means he is so stupid more than before. Because this story should be told only by a stupid idiot because it's a joke. If this is what Muhammad said after the surgery, how full he was before the surgery. Now, just to show you that foolishness is, is, is an infection, all of them, they have it, not only Muhammad. And all of them, they have the same infection. Amir, he said, for you, this is verse number 10, there is sickness in their heart and then Allah will increase their sickness. Okay, hold, hold on. Allah will increase what? Allah will increase their sickness. Thank you very much. You just prove to us that Allah is the devil. We are here all this time trying to make people believe that Allah is the devil and you made it very clear. Allah will increase their sickness. Allah will not make you a believer. Because if sickness is not to believe in him, Allah will increase your sickness. Look look at this madness. Look at the stupidity. Islam literally is a garbage in, garbage out. If we compare this to Jesus, Jesus, he said, I came for the sick, not for the healthy. Allah will increase your sickness. Jesus will heal your sickness. <clears throat> right? <clears throat> Black is dislike a proven hadith. My friend, I'm not using the hadith, I'm using the Quran. This is your Quran. And we show the interpretation. And this is your Quran, chapter 27, verse number 82, when we show the interpretation. Allah will make all black people white and all white people black depend in their belief, which means if you are a white person and you believe in Islam, you stay white. If you are a black person and you believe in Islam, Allah will make you white. So no one will enter heaven unless he is white or black. White, go to heaven. Black, go to hell. Got busted. So let us take a note what Muslims, they say to us. It doesn't matter if Allah, he teach that the black people will go to hell. It's, it's okay. It doesn't matter if you, if, you have, if you have a sickness, Allah will increase your sickness. That means Allah is the devil. Allah is the devil. Because the one who increased sickness cannot be God. Jesus said, I came for the sick, <clears throat> not for the healthy. You said, and you know, if you go in the Quran, you will see how stupid this book is. Because <clears throat> before you are created, Allah, he made you believer or not. Do you know that? Do you know that? And that explained, <clears throat> hold on. I need to make some tea with some sugar. And that explains why they believe that Allah increases sickness because they believe in a God who is he himself is sick. He's a coronavirus. He do nothing good. And we can prove it easy. 
if we go in the hadith, which is authentic hadith. <coughs> Look what the hadith says. That what Allah he wrote for you, it will decide where you go to heaven or to hell, not what you what you do. Read it. Read it. Read it. When you are in the belly of your mother, according to Muhammad, and this is Sahih al-Bukhari, <coughs> Allah will send an angel and he will write everything about your future, your destiny. He will write four things, his provision, his age, whether he will be watched or he will be blessed. So even that is written there. In the hereafter, then the soul will breathe into him. And then Muhammad saying, read carefully and see the stupidity of the cult of Islam. And then by Allah, a person among you uh, or a man do may do the deeds of people of fire till he is only a cubit or an arm be, uh, 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 breathe distance between him and the fire man this guy was very 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 bad he like he take christian as a friend he don't kill christians and jews and hindus and atheists uh, uh you know he don't uh, uh, discriminate black people he's a, he's a bad muslim he will go almost to, ha to hellfire then but what is written by allah will take over and proceed and then the deeds he will do the deeds of people of paradise and he enter it and vice versa you see the stupidity which means it does not it's not what you decide it's not what you do, it's what Allah wrote for you to do. This is how stupid the cult of Islam is. Do you see it? Read this one too. If Islam teach anti-black, then it shows Islam is true because all culture are anti-black. <laughs> no comment <laughs> no comment uh, I will leave you to the crowd uh, take my advice don't go to Africa and say this mm -hmm. don't go to Africa by the way his name is Jundullah which means the enemy uh, sorry the army of Allah the soldiers of Allah yeah, very good soldier. So as you see how racist they are, and they are proud about it. And look here. Again, a person, he might do the deeds of paradise, but then what Allah, he wrote for him, will over, take over, overcome what he do, which means it's not what you decide. Then when suddenly, the writing of destiny overcome him, and uh, uh, being uh, uh, to act of the people of hell you see it so in Islam to believe in Islam you have to be stupid because at the end of the day you do good or bad doesn't matter it's what Allah wrote for you before he created you it's going to take over and then you must do what Allah wrote for you not a choice <clears throat> Jesus said go you know for God he loved the world love who the world he sent his only begotten son he loved the world my friend no black no white the Bible says there's no Greek no Hebrew no slave no free no free no slave for all is one by Jesus I mean Correct, guys? Very simple. Jesus, he unite us. We are slaves. We are free. We are black. We are white. We are united by Christ. <clears throat> that is the Bible, my friend. And that is the message of the Lord, the Messiah, the Christ, the loving, merciful. And today you will see black people go into Europe to preach to the, to the white man to save him. One day, the white man came to Africa to teach 
uh, about Jesus. Today, the African man is saving the white man. That is reality. There is neither <clears throat> Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For all ye are one in a Christ Jesus. Isn't it beautiful? Let us get the blessing of the Lord and listen to this. After all the garbage we are listening to from Muhammad and his cult, let us hear something good. Let us hear something will bring wisdom to our heart. Something will change us. Not garbage about farting and sex and intercourse and black and white dis discrimination. Something beautiful. Galatians 3. O oh, foolish Galatians, who hath bewitched you, that ye should not obey the truth, before whose eyes Jesus Christ hath been evidently set forth crucified among you? This only would I learn of you. Received ye the Spirit by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith? Are ye so foolish, having begun in the Spirit? Are ye now made perfect by the flesh? Have ye suffered so many things in vain? If it be yet in vain, he therefore that ministereth to you the Spirit, and worketh miracles among you, doeth he it by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith? Even as Abraham believed God, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. Know ye therefore that they which are of faith, the same are the children of Abraham. And the Scripture, foreseeing that God would justify the heathen through faith, preached before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, In thee shall all nations be blessed. So then they which be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham. For as many as are of the works of the law are under the curse, for it is written, Cursed is every one that continueth not in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them. But that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God, it is evident, for the just shall live by faith. And the law is not of faith, but the man that doeth them shall live in them. Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is every one that hangeth on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Brethren, I speak after the manner of men, Though it be but a man's covenant, yet, if it be confirmed, no man disannulleth, or addeth thereto. Now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. He saith not, and to seeds, as of many, but as of one, and to thy seed, which is Christ. And this I say, that the covenant that was confirmed before of God in Christ, the law, which was four hundred and thirty years after, cannot disannul that it should make the promise of none effect. For if the inheritance be of the law, it is no more of promise. But God gave it to Abraham by promise. Wherefore then serveth the law? It was added because of transgressions, till the seed should come to whom the promise was made, and it was ordained by angels in the hand of a mediator. Now a mediator is not a mediator of one, but God is one. Is the law then against the promises of God? God forbid! For if there had been a law given, which could have given life, verily righteousness should have been by the law. But the Scripture hath concluded, all under sin, that the promise by faith of Jesus Christ might be given to them that believe. But before faith came, we were kept under the law, shut up unto the faith which should afterwards be revealed." Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster, to bring us unto Christ, that we might be justified by faith. But after that faith is come, we are no longer under a schoolmaster. For ye are all the children of God, by faith in Christ Jesus. 
For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither bond nor free, there is neither male nor female, for ye are all one in Christ Jesus. And if ye be Christ's, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. I mean to that. You notice here that the verse saying clearly, Galatians 4, it is Now so. I say that the heir, as long as he is a child, differeth nothing from a servant. What make you from the seed of Abraham? Is not really being from the seed of Abraham, which means you are an Asian, yet you are from the seed of Abraham. You are a Greek, you are from the seed of Abraham, but the Greek are not from the seed of Abraham. The Asian are not from the seed of Abraham. Me, you know, I'm not from the seed of Abraham. What make us the word seed here is not about really being from literally a seed of Abraham, but you are the same as your father. You follow your father. So there is no Jew, there is no Greek, which means, you know, in Christianity, there is no someone claiming to be a citizen of Rome and someone he is an occupied by Rome. The Jews are occupied. They are under the occupation. They are second, third class. There is no Greek. There is no Jew. There is no bond. There is no free. There is no slavery. There is no free. If you are free, you are not better than a slave. He is a slave because somebody is abusing him. Not because you are better than him. There is neither, neither male or female. So you, you cannot be proud say, I am a male, you are a female, I am better than you. For all are one in Christ. I mean to that. So my friend, Christ, he unite us. Islam, he, Islam divide us. Islam, obviously, is a devilish cult made, made by the devil for those who like devilish teaching. Trying to fool you, make you believe that if you follow Islam, you go to heaven. And what kind of heaven? A heaven of white people where everybody will turn into white and anyone who is not believing in Allah, Allah will make him black, as we showed you. That alone is enough to prove to us that cannot, this is cannot be from God. Secondly, what kind of God he promised me? Women in heaven. I mean, this is pimp. This is pimp promise. This is Las Vegas pimp. God don't promise such a promise. You see, the promise of a man is a title of his equality. Which means, if I promise you something, that means I am that thing. You know what I mean? If I promise you gold, that means I praise gold. If I promise you women and private part, that means I praise women and private part. This is my goal. This is my target. This is my highest reward. If I promise you holiness, that means I'm holy. Do you understand my message? The gift is a clear definition of the gifter. I don't know if my English is helping me to say the word. Which means you know who, it, who is he from his gift. The gift speak for you. A person who come with a rose is not the same as somebody come with a gift. You open it, you find a dildo. Do we understand what I'm saying? A person he come to you with a dildo in a box in your birthday. He is a dildo man or a dildo woman. A person who come to you with a rose in his hand or her hand, he is a rose person. So if God is God of roses and flowers and dignity and good, he promised good. He don't promise us women have no panties. That is a promise of the devil. What the difference between the promise of Allah heaven and somebody coming to my house and bringing me a DVD of porn? It's the same. Both of them is imaginary. Well, you will not get that heaven anyway. It's false. But both of them is something you, you imagine. 
It's in the screen. I, you know, I see it there, but it's not real. Hmm? The promise is a clear title of you. The Messiah is the Messiah of holiness. He said, be holy like your father. What Muhammad he said, be pimp like Allah. Get ready, Allah will give you endless penis. And even, even the promises are really stupid. I mean, imagine your penis is endless. So you live in California, but your penis is now in Japan. And keep going. And then you receive a phone call from the Chinese. And they say to you, Ching -ho -ho -he -ho 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 -ho. Translation, please can you move your penis because we have corona problem now? Endless penis. I mean, this is endless stupidity. It is endless stupidity to believe that somebody is going to have an endless penis. What you would do with it exactly? Are you going to run a cable between galaxies? Are you going to use your penis as a cable for the internet between us and the alien? What kind of a promise is this promise? Women who they are transparent, you see their skin. I mean, look at, look at the promises. Look at the stupidity. The women there, they will be transparent and I will see their legs, the marrow of their, uh, of their bones. Is that supposedly uh, sexy and you know it? What is this? So beautiful. Muhammad described that as so beautiful. To the point, brother, you will see the marrow of their bones. Obsessed, racist, white supremacist, so he exaggerate of how white they are to the point they are white to the point you can see the marrow of their bones because you know white people when they are the more white you are the more you can see the nerves under the skin this is what Muhammad is talking about they are so white to the point not only you can see the nerves under the skin you can see and the bloodline you can see even through the marrow of their bones So my friends, my brothers, my sisters, may the Lord bless you. I hope today we have a good knowledge and the good Lord, he open our eyes. We pray for the Muslims to see the truth and the truth will set them free. And remember, we are not here to, uh, we are not speaking against Muslims. We are speaking against Islam. Muslims are victims. They've been fooled, lied to. Uh, and, and Islam discriminate you as a Muslim. If you are Indonesian, go and see. How, how, how fair it is that you pray to God in Arabic, which is my language, not yours. You've been forced to speak in a language you don't even understand. You don't even know what you are saying. You've been forced to say, Allahu Akbar. Why well, you don't say that in your language? And what Allahu Akbar mean? I mean, this is the, the word by itself is stupid. Akbar is the same as saying bigger. Akbar is about comparing. How you can compare. You're comparing Allah to who? Even the idea is stupid. Even the Muslim, they say the word Akbar means greater. That's false, by the way, because the great is Azim. Akbar means bigger. However, let us say he's a greater. Okay, greater than who? From the other idols? From the other gods? If you are the only one God, you don't compare yourself to by saying Akbar. You can say God is a great. But God is uh, Akbar, which means bigger. Bigger from what? From who? If everything is created by him. So the idea of Islam is stupid from the first letter to the last letter. And all of you are welcome here to join us and subscribe if you care. So you learn, you educate yourself, you take reference. And all what we do here is for free, for sure. And we love to share knowledge and truth, and the truth will set you free. So I want to say thank you. I hope uh, tonight I can go online again. I don't know if I can go because uh, my voice is, uh, is not doing good. Uh, but if not, I hope tomorrow. God is willing, and by Him and for Him, everything is created. That is the Lord, the Messiah, the Christ, the Word of God, God on earth, God who humbled Himself and He came in a form of a man, so he can give us salvation. 
This is the Savior, the Lord, the Messiah. No name better than him and no act and action and ethnic uh, 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 uniting better than him. He make us united. There's no ethnic. There's no black. There's no white. There's nothing. You're, you forget about your color. You remember only your color when you are really going to the racist position. With the Christ, you don't remember that. With the Christ, you are a child of God. All of us, black and white and Asian, Indian, Arab, Turkish, Russian, it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what language. Go and teach the whole world, all the world, no exception. That is his command. Thank you, and may the Lord bless you all. And I will see you again. Christ is Lord, Islam is false. And thank you very much.